are standing in front of the Hart Memorial Trophy at the Hockey Hall of Fame, and it's a trophy that Carey Price won last year. Heading into the All-Star break, I think everyone assumed that this was a trophy that Patrick Kane was going to win from the Chicago Blackhawks. He was just dominating offensively, um, just tearing up the league. And yet, here we are, um, basically in the second week of February, and a new kid has emerged, and it's Sid the Kid. Sidney Crosby has just been on a tear offensively. And the question, Mike Zeisberger, is can Sidney Crosby challenge Patrick Kane for the Art Ross Trophy and the Hart Memorial Trophy as league MVP? Well, even a week ago, Mike, I would have said that no, because, you know, Patrick Kane was so far ahead. But Sidney Crosby, as you said, has been on such a roll. Four points against the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, he's just been going and going and going. I just don't know if there's enough time to get to the finish line for him to catch up to Patrick Kane. And here's the argument for Patrick Kane is that um, at the All-Star break, he was only something like, I believe, 11 or 12 points behind the point total that won the right. Art Ross Trophy as a scoring title. So he may be the only guy that gets over 100 points, and that's where you're going to have to kind of balance it. Let's not forget how many guys the Blackhawks lost in the offseason, even though they won the Cup. Patrick Sharp, Johnny Deduya, we can go down the list, and yet they are right back in the thick of things, and you have to think that Patrick Kane is a big deal for that. The thing going in Crosby's favor, I gotta say, is remember a couple years ago, Alex Ovechkin, a terrible first half of yep. the season, and ends up winning the league MVP, even though he finished third in scoring that year. So I think writers, and you and I are both voting on this award, we like that kind of underdog. We like that from the back of the pack, that horse that can kind of make that late yep. charge. And I think a lot of fans even like Sidney Crosby. So maybe that's working in his favor. And um, just to kind of run, run down some other candidates, you can't forget Jamie Benn the season he's having in Dallas. Again, he was last year's scoring champion, as well as a Braden Holpe for Washington. Just he might uh, be the first goaltender in the NHL to record 50 wins. Yep. And then another guy I really like is Evgeny Kuznetsov, who as a 23-year-old is completely having a breakout season, has more points than Ovechkin. So it's going to make a fun race. And uh, I think the thing that I like about it is not just a one horse race right now. Yeah, and it, you know, just to close, uh, six weeks ago we were talking about Tyler Sagan and Patrick Kane, and Tyler Sagan has kind of even been uh, passed over by his own teammate, Jamie Benn. So it just goes to show you how things can change in the final two months of the season. Yeah, I think if anything, just uh, <laughs> it might come down to the final game.